All right. So it looks like uh, Joe Rogan, um, like they put out an official, you know, invitation or, or something like that as far as the, and, and Donald Trump agreed to it. Honestly, at that point right there, that should be a problem right there for, for Joe Biden's campaign or for anybody that's supporting Joe, uh, uh, Joe Biden. Because the thing is, is that and Joe, Joe, Joe Rogan was like, hey, you know, um, we're not going to I don't want to have I wouldn't want to have anyone else in there. No one else. I want. He doesn't want anyone else in the room. Just them three. And that's it. Honestly, I think that that would be amazing. And at that point, you have to you would see who who really needs to honestly, who really needs to leave. And the fact that Donald Trump's already saying, hey, I do. He said I do on Twitter. Like, would, would they want that? He's agreed to it already. He has agreed to it. And of course, Joe Biden's campaign hasn't agreed. That, that right there is a problem for me. That right there is a problem if it or it should be a problem to these people that are just fine with his with his uh, with Joe Biden not being able to or not or not wanting him to go in and, and have a debate against the person that he's competing to run the freaking country with. That's a problem right there for me. And it should be a problem with them. But the thing is, is that they understand already that they're running a weak candidate. They're running a weak candidate and that, and that it is what it is. Joe, and, and of course, now you already have the people that are going to, that are, that are, that are trying to talk negatively about Joe Rogan, a misogynist, blah, blah, blah. And then they're already trying to discount him as something like they've tried to do before. And it's mainly because he's willing to talk to anyone. And they don't like the fact that he's willing to talk to anyone. They do not like that. They, 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 he's a person that has not picked a side to, to softball questions to like, like, like a lot of people on the left do. Like a lot of interviewers do, like a lot of people in the media. He, to honestly, him and people, in in and I, him and people and people that are like him are the mainstream media these days. They are. They, he's a replacement. That's what they do not like about him. That's kind of, kind of one of those ways I want to kind of go with my with my uh, with my channel or or starting the podcast and stuff like that. I want to go this way. Talk to everyone. Just have just have freaking questions. And and treat everyone the same. Not say, well, I'm on softball. Like the the, the, the questions that have been asked at Joe Biden's campaign, uh, basically, in, in in so many words, is uh, Joe Biden, why are you so awesome? <laughs> What's what? Same with Sean Hannity talking to uh, to anytime he he talks to uh, to Trump. You know, Trump, why are you so awesome? No, no. Let's talk. Let's ask some freaking questions, man. Let's ask some questions that are that are that that are policy driven, and let's it, it, let's provide some pushback. It's just like going to the gym, lifting weights, and stuff like that. You will never get better, or playing any sport. You will never get better unless you're up against something or someone that is better than you. That's how you get stronger. That's how you get better. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Comment, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. All right.